What is happening? Where did they come from? What's up guys? Today we are hanging out in Kayla's office trying to figure stuff out. I might be heading to Lowe's to get us a little whiteboard. Got a lot of stuff to do Yeah. today. Kayla's trying to do a little hibernation to get some stuff done. She's she's uh, come down to the wire. You know, I'm a good under pressure. Been doing this my whole life. It's not my favorite uh, quality. Wait, not quality. It's not my favorite. What do you call that? Trait. Characteristic trait. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that about myself. But it always happens, and it seems to work out. So you're making me nervous. Why are you moving? Because the light keeps changing. Well, go over here. Is that better? I'm pretty much a good photographer <laughs> or a good videographer. Um. What was I saying? Oh okay, yeah, I don't like that about myself, but it always, I always typically make it happen under pressure, so it's fine, and I can't say I didn't see this coming. I need to be working on the website today, but I have so much stuff in my mind that I don't want to forget to do before the soft launch, even though it is a soft launch. The whole reason we're doing this is so that we make sure that we have systems and we can learn, because we've never done this before before we add more products. Um, and I am glad that we did make this decision to do it this way, but I still have a lot of stuff I wanna get done before we do this. So, it's swimming around in my head and I can't concentrate on the website and making the website because my brain is full. It's like a tornado. Part of, part of being creative. A lot of stuff going on. Got a lot of stuff to think about and to keep up with. and uh, But we're super excited about it. Yeah. I am. I'm super excited about it. Yeah, we're really excited. And uh, I have this whiteboard. And actually, I should have had it from whenever I had a studio. And I don't know where it is. Uh, I thought it was in our storage building, but it wasn't. But there's this hack you can do for whiteboards for anybody who has like a at-home office. Or maybe you're a teacher or... I don't know, like maybe even at your church. There's so many different like places you need to use a whiteboard. And you can go to Lowe's or like somewhere like that. And it's called, what did I just tell you it's called? Okay, I just looked it up because I forgot the name and I was going to send Austin if I didn't go so we knew what to look for. It's called Hardboard. And it's basically like a whiteboard that has a coating on it. And I don't really know what they use it for in construction. But it comes in like a 4 by 8 piece. Uh, it's pretty thin, so it's kind of hard to work with, but, um, like, we're going to get a piece of plywood to go with it and to use, like, to help haul it back, but, uh, it works just like a whiteboard, and it's really big, and I think last time I bought it, it cost me, like, 15 bucks, and whiteboards that size, like, if you buy them from a place, are, like, $300, so it's a really good DIY hack, and I remembered it from whenever I had my studio, and I really like to see the things like on paper written down or somewhere in front of me that I need to do. And so that's why we're thinking about going to get the whiteboard. Good hack. Good hack. Good hack. Good hack. Bootstrap business. Need good DIY hacks. That's right. <laughs> that's right. This is our packaging. I showed it on social media. If you guys aren't following Industrial Tradition on Instagram. You should. And if you haven't been to the website and put in your email, you should also do that. But we're doing a lot of the packaging in these like brown paper bags because I just think it makes sense for the brand. And these are some, these aren't really stickers. These are more like decals, I guess you would call them, right? Decals? Yeah. That's what you call them? Yeah. yeah. Um, but we're figuring out how we're gonna package them to make sure that they don't get bent. And so we bought this board, which is called chipboard, um, and it's a 5x7, and this is a 5x7 envelope, but it doesn't actually fit in here. It actually needs, like, how much is that taken off? Is that like an eighth of an inch, this much right here? This much over? Like a quarter. Like a quarter of an inch taken off. So we have a whole entire box, like 1,300 of these little boards that we have to cut a quarter of an inch off 
for them to work, so. Oh boy. Always creating more work. I love I'm learning. It. I'm I love learning. It. Gotta learn the hard way sometimes. But this is the box. Show them the box. Show them how big it is. This is the box, and like this is how thin one is. I don't even know if that is like any perspective at all. But I mean That's a whole bunch of boards. That's a lot that's a lot of chipboard. So of course board. we aren't gonna cut it all down all at once because we don't even have that many stickers to sell. <laughs> but eventually. We'll have to cut all that down so it'll fit in here. And whenever you get your decals and stickers, they will be nice and flat and perfect. That's right. There you have it. A little behind the scenes on what's going on with industrial tradition. We're headed to Lowe's. Kayla is going with me. She's calling Lowe's right now. Got the hardboard before we drive all the way to town. <laughs> you know what you're looking for? Oh, my Atlanta. That's the stuff. That's the gold. But what if we got this? $21. Four foot by 32. Would that work for my size? Yeah, I think so. I was gonna hold it up for you. I was actually looking for a tripod, but couldn't bring mine in. <laughs> looking for a tripod somewhere to set this thing. That's a good size. Here, you want me to hold it for you? So you can pretend writing on it. But I'm nervous because my mom and dad left. I don't know how to be alone. Storage buildings. Even though my brother's right there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh wow, Paisley, your life is so hard. What are you where did they come from? Babe. <laughs> what is happening? Where did they come from? Look at that guy on the bike, he's like idiot. What are they doing? Where did they come from? Do you know? I think they came from the, they were supposed oh. to turn right here. Oh, they come from this lane? No, they came from over there and they were supposed to like turn right here. Look at this guy. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he was like pointing at him. He saw his video and that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> They just decided to they were beauty. They were like, but like luckily they weren't going fast. If I was that guy on the motorcycle, I think I would have peed my pants. <laughs> Little subcompact car coming right for you. Slow motion. Flipping a gooey right in the middle of the intersection in the wrong lane. They're like, here. Oh, I decided I don't want to turn anymore. I'm gonna just <laughs> go towards oncoming traffic and then and then have the motorcycle guy back up and then I'll just turn a tight right because my car will fit and that's totally <laughs> that's what I should be doing in a major intersection Curb in the city Curb check. oh my gosh what here's an update on gingham he is still supposed to be in his kennel Bubba say hi see I'm a little sad I'm also a little I have a lot of sedatives <laughs> Hey, Baba, go sleep. Oh, sadly, this is our reality with him right now. It's been like this for like three weeks. Sorry, Baba. Okay, go night-night. 
Well, we are back and we got the board. Austin dropped it and me off. <laughs> and he went to go look at a truck bed for his old 95 Dodge. Um, a buddy might have one off of a truck he bought for a parts truck. So Austin's gonna go check it out because his is bedless right now because he took his old welding bed off of it that it originally had on it. It used to have on it the black bed that you guys saw us loading in the welding beds for sell video. So anyways, he's going to check that out to see if he can find a stock bed for a good price because he's gonna build another welding bed, but we're never home long enough for him to do that. So right now he just wants to put a stock bed on it. We're home, fixing to write on these whiteboards. And I just thought of somebody else who needs to know about this idea is farmers or like agriculture sector like whether it be in front of the feed or in the office I mean over the years if it gets ruined it's 15 bucks this is the best DIY I will probably ever bring to you guys so I hope somebody finds it useful okay, okay all right I'm done. I don't want to be on camera anymore